Oh, what? Oh, no. No. Come on. No. Not a... No. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Rare Blend. I'm Ken. Have you ever had one of those weekends where absolutely nothing went right? Well, I don't want to give too much away just yet, but just imagine getting ready to go to a big car show and your car didn't want to show. Yeah. So uh, please check out this video and stick around to the very end because I do want to talk to you about something very important and that's about understanding your car insurance. A lot of people kind of, eh, they don't think about it. It's boring stuff, and eh, I don't, I don't want to deal with it. But don't put yourself in a situation that I was just in. Make sure you understand what your coverage is and what's involved with it. So we're going to talk uh, more about that after the video here. So uh, enjoy. And please, if you find this useful or helpful, don't forget to like and share with others. Uh, and also make sure you uh, hit that uh, notification bell so you're updated on the latest videos whenever I post them up. All right, let's get to the video. And good morning. So today we are on our way to the Honda Meet, uh, formerly known as the Eibach Meet here in Orlando, Florida. It is a gorgeous morning. Perfect day to take the beat out for a ride here. And uh, But first we have to pick up our special guest, Mr. Honda Pro Jason. And, uh, well, you know what? Actually, before that, I almost forgot. I have to go get my second COVID shot. So let's take care of that first, then pick up Honda Pro Jason, then we'll head over to the Honda Meet. And uh, so we got everybody here, so we have everybody there. <laughs> Here, asking the usual question. All right, so we're going forward then? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, here we go. We're going to get our shot here. Okay, over there. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're going over here. Just so you know, I, I hate shots. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't do well with shots at all. Ooh. You got it. That's it. That's it. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> okay. I don't talk to people like the nurse before. Whoever. Okay. Thank you very much. Great. While I'm waiting on Honda Pro Jason to uh, wake up, uh, there's an autocross going on out here in front of the convention center, so uh, let's take a look here. What? Oh no, no, come on, no, not a, no. So I was driving around the exit out of the convention center in first gear and the motor just died on me. And now it won't start again. I cannot believe this is happening right now. This is pretty much exactly what happened back in December when I was actually on the highway and it did this. But it will not start. So as luck or no luck would have it, the beat just died on me. Um, 
I was coming out the road, getting ready to head for the meet, and literally just the power, like the power just went out. First gear, absolutely nothing. And uh, this is very similar to what happened last December, which uh, ended up putting the car up on uh, lifts for three over three months. Um, and I hope to God we don't have to repeat that again. So, man, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Obviously, she did not want to go to the show, and I don't know why. Come on, Ducky. Why are you doing this, baby? I don't know. later and here is where our weekend is being spent right now two hours later meanwhile so here we are now it's about quarter after four and been sitting here since 10 30 this morning uh, I'd like to thank Haggerty Auto Insurance for um, failing me miserably they said they'd send a tow truck out this morning and well like I said, here we are almost 4.30 and still no tow truck. So thank you, Haggerty. We really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so really not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, I just keep calling Haggerty pretty much every hour on the hour. And uh, I hear their excuses and I hope and pray to see a tow truck. We'll see what happens. I'd like to get home sometime before it gets dark here. Six hours later. Well, it looks like uh, help has finally arrived, and, and, and funny enough, their logo is like, uh, they're called, I don't know if it's Infinity Stones or something. But uh, hopefully uh, now we can get the beat home now. Um, it has been a very long, hot day, and uh, I just want to get home and uh, take a shower and see my family here. showed up now on these guys uh, for their benefit that they, they, it's not their fault it was Haggerty insurance they kept dropping the ball and um, kept sending supposedly sending one tow truck company after another um, so these guys actually showed up fairly quickly once they were finally notified so you know I'm very grateful for that uh, but this has been such a frustrating experience um, yeah I'm gonna have a few words with uh, Haggerty uh, come Monday morning here because it's just not acceptable uh, in any way, shape, or form. Um, six hours on the side of a strand on the side of a road in 92 degree heat. Uh, no bueno. Not fun at all. All right, guys. Uh, I'm tired. I need to get this car home. Uh, I need a shower. But uh, thank you so much for uh, your support. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, drive safe. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. So now you saw my personal experience with Haggerty, um, particularly with their towing coverage. This is very important to understand your insurance company and what you're getting for your premium there. So it's very important that number one, you understand your coverage. You need to know what's included under your policy. Uh, you need to know what happens if someone hits you versus you hitting someone else. And then what if that other person has zero coverage? This has happened to me before as well. Uh, what are your deductibles? What are you responsible for? So these are things you need to know beforehand. Make sure you contact your insurance company, ask them these questions. Now, in regards to this video and my experience with Haggerty Insurance, you need to find out uh, about rental car coverage and any towing options. So I did go with the optional uh, towing with Haggerty. Um, you need to understand what's included with that towing and who does the actual towing. This seems to be a bit of a mystery here. Now, uh, for example, you have things like AAA. They actually have a contracted set of towing companies that basically are subcontracted by AAA. Uh, they're on call for AAA 
uh, members, club members. With Haggerty, for specifically with Haggerty, their example, they actually contract a company called um, Cross Country Motor Mo Cross Country Motor Club. Cross Country Motor Club subcontracts individual towing companies, and there's some sort of I, I don't I'm not 100 percent clear on this, but there's some sort of uh, bidding situation where basically they put in a bid and they say, okay, uh, to towing company A we'll pay you $100 for our clients. However, there could be another insurance company waiting in the wings and they say, hey, guess what? We're gonna pay you $200. So towing company A could basically say to Cross Country Motor and Haggerty, hey, look guys, uh, we can't do that job. We have another job over here that's gonna pay more. That was the situation I was in, where I was bypassed time and time and time and time and time again. I think it was approximately eight or nine companies that had basically dropped Haggerty in favor of uh, another uh, situation, whether it was, I don't know who they went with, but I was dropped like a hot potato every single time. Something very important you need to understand about your insurance company there. So uh, make sure you understand these things beforehand, before you put yourself into a situation like I was in and literally stranded on the side of the road for hours. This particular situation, it was over six hours I was stranded on the side of the road. Another case before that, it was five hours. Another case before that, it was four hours. So that's a lot of time being stuck on the side of the road. Now, in uh, Haggerty's defense, um, I was contacted by the vice president of um, their towing club, um, if you will, and uh, he was very kind, very polite. He did apologize to me after uh, about what happened and what's happened in the past, uh, since this is not the first time I've had this issue with Haggerty. In the end, though, I, I just don't feel like they did enough to compensate for what I went through. You know, again, I was literally, I've spent over 16 hours sitting on the side of the road waiting for these guys to pick me up. That's a lot of time. Um, I lost a lot of opportunities. I lost a lot of money. Um, and then, uh, again, uh, these situations, most of them were on weekends. I couldn't spend time with my own family. So, and that's something that's very important to me. You know, as, as much as I love going to these car events and car shows, I enjoy being at home with my family. And I'm sure many of you out there feel the same way. So please do yourself a favor, do your research, do your homework, get online, call your insurance company and find out what coverages you have, what's involved, and maybe you need to look for other options then. I, I may look into AAA again. I haven't used them in a long time, but uh, if they're more reliable and uh, you know will be there on time and uh, not make me wait half a day, then you know what, that's where I'll go to. And also, I can't really speak for Haggerty's claims department because I haven't really dealt with them. Uh, my issues have been with their marketing department, that's a whole other story there, and obviously towing. Um, so I've heard a lot of good things about Haggerty and uh, their, their coverage, especially with collector vehicles. Uh, you know, I've, I've got my, my Honda Beat, I've got a Honda CRX, and I've heard a lot of good things about them, which is why I, I chose them. So I, I'm, I'm gonna give them another chance. Uh, we'll see what happens down the road here. Now, I would like to hear if you have had any experiences with Haggerty Insurance, good or bad. Uh, I'd like to hear them both, or any other insurance company for that matter. And if you have any questions or would like to see more videos like this and maybe get more in depth about um, insurance for collector vehicles, then please let me know. Uh, either comment down below or send me a message and uh, let me know what's on your mind. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me and, and checking out and joining me on these adventures. Uh, and as always, drive safe.